Hello, I'm Paul Wright. I'm a professor in mechanical engineering and a big member of Citrus. This is Russell Romero, one of our students, and Dan Steingard that have built this uh, system for the Chicago Fire Department. If we turn Russell around, you'll see he's wearing the latest fashionable gear in fire display. This small computer here now has what you would call you are here maps of the building. And this started after the 9-11 attacks in Chicago where they were concerned about building security. And so now it's the city ordinance that all buildings over eight stories have these electronic you are here maps uh, represented for the fire crew. So when the fire crew go to a uh, particular fire, the, the map of the building of the various floors is displayed on this heads up display which you see in front of Russell's face here. And so as the fireman is going through the burning building, there's a much better pinpointing of where the fire is, where the fireman understands where he is in all the smoke, and how the building is being navigated by the fire system. A large part of Citrus is the development of these small wireless sensors. And quite simply, they can, in certain buildings, replace the familiar RFID tag that we all use to get into the building. And obviously there are issues related pri relating privacy to security, but in certain federal buildings and in certain high-risk buildings, the scenario is that people would be wearing these devices, and when the fireman was going through the burning building, it would be very easy to see where people were because there'd be essentially a beacon on each person and the, the, fire the, the rescue would be more effective. The second element, of course, is that the fireman himself is also wearing one of these as beacons. So when the fire captain is monitoring the presence of all of his fire crew, he knows where the firemen are and he can communicate with them uh, through voice and through certain um, devices that we're attaching to the skin to show the, um, the, the heart rate of the, sense, of the sensor of the people and the, uh, the temperature of the firemen. So the fireman now is fully instrumented and also has this map communicating with, with the fireman and each one of the occupants of the building would have one of these moots. So a final element of this demonstration is these uh, fire retardant smoke detectors that we've built for the project. These would also be distributed throughout the building and they're connected to a map of the building so that the occupants of the building are directed to the correct stairwell during the, during the fire. And this adds the final layer of intelligence to the building which come from these uh, sensor-based nodes where the fireman, the fire captain, the occupants of the building and the intelligent building itself give much more information about fire evacuation and uh, safe rescue in those kinds of terrorist attacks and other, uh, and other tragedies.